What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Dawnwing Necrozma team alongside with Sun slash Trick Room team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But this team right here was actually sent in by one of you guys, one of the subscribers sent this in, but I realized it was actually made by Poke Sports, who is another PokeTuber channel. So I'm going to be leaving their link to their channel in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Show them some love over there. But rocking out on this team, starting off in that top left corner, we got Necrozma over here, the Lunala form with that power herb and the Prism Armor ability. So we take 25% less damage from Super effective moves we can roll rock trick room with them we also have meteor beam to roll out with that power herb we got expanding force for when the second surge comes in with indeedy and we got moon guys beam for our stab signature move right next to him we got indeedy with the cobra berry the psychic surge follow me helping hand expanding force and protect we got my face cam we're getting started with our sun boy we got torkoal over here you can set the drought he has a charcoal for boost attacks for fire moves we have eruption heat wave earth power and protect nothing really new for a torkoal over here same thing with the venus or nothing new going on with him we got the core fill ability the life orb item sludge bomb sleep powder earth power and leaf storm fairly normal move set for a venus or bottom left corner we have urge fruit over here unseen fist we can hit through protects focus ash then we got the move set of wicked blow close combat protect and sucker punch for first turn priority and then you cannot have a trick room team without the main man glacier over here this thing's an absolute beast with chilling nay weakness policy icicle crash close combat high horsepower for coverage and our final move is protect guys you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on to that rank double ladder try to get some wins with this dawn wings necrozma team First battle coming at you guys, and you know we are in trouble here. He's got himself a Rain Kyogre team alongside with Draco Fish, the Tornadus, of course, the Kingdra, the Swift Swim Kingdra, I should say. He also has Celestia and Comfy to be a great support mod in the back end. But guys, if you do send me teams that are used by other channels or other people who make Pokemon content, make sure you give me their uh, channel link. So I can actually shout them out because I don't want to just be stealing people's teams and use them without like giving them a shout out at least because people work hard uh, making their teams. So if you guys do send me teams that are used by other people, make sure you send me their channel as well. But we're going here in our first battle. Who do I think he's going to lead? Probably the Comfy. I could see him leading the Comfy. I kind of want to get Trick Room rolling here so he doesn't just take complete speed control. So I can go in DD and Necrozma, set up that Trick Room, go for some follow me's and then roll out there for that. Uh, could bring Glacier. Glacier is an absolute monster. Can do pretty well here, so I think I am going to bring him. And then in the final spot, just Urshifu in the back end. I think that's pretty cool. Or we can go for the Weather War. We can go for the Weather War. I'm kind of down for it. Kind of down for the Weather War, man. Do we go for the Weather War, or do we just take speed control, let him have the weather, and roll from there? Now, nah, yeah, we going for that Weather War. Let's get after it. <laughs> Let's get after it. Let's go. We're definitely going to try to get that trick room rolling and getting off from there. Because I don't want him just like having weather control and tailwind speed. That'd be absolutely crazy. He would just dump on me from there. But I already know this one's going to be a tough match. I always play or I always struggle to play up against Kyogre teams. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys struggle up, up against any other teams. And also let me know what other Pokemon do I still have to show off. I think I did most of them for the restricted mods. I just need Kieran Black, I believe. If I am missing somebody or a Pokemon that I haven't used for Series 8 yet, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know. But he is going to rock out with uh, Tornadus and Draco Fish. So I'm going to roll out with this Trick Room and this Follow Me. I think that's a solid play here. I could... Uh, oh, he might taunt me. Do I think he's going to taunt me? Do I think he's going to taunt me? Follow Me should come out before the taunt, right? I am going to do that and I am going to set up a Trick Room. Let's get that rolling. He can taunt a little booger. A little booger, man. But Follow Me should come out before the taunt. So we should be, we should be thriving here to be able to get off this Trick Room. But yo... Necrozma with Lunala looks sick. He looks really dope. Follow me's gonna come out here. Hopefully he taunts. I'm I kinda hoping he taunts because I, I won't need to go for another follow me. He does taunt. That is wonderful. And we're protected by the terrain, which is awesome as well. And Fish Rent's gonna come out. We're gonna be able to eat up all day. Trick Room's gonna pop. Trick Room is gonna pop. I'm gonna Dynamax my boy. Actually, we're gonna drop a Meteor Beam here. And I'm just gonna expand force. That's gonna be fly. Expanding force coming out here. And I am going to Meteor Beam over onto the Tornadus. Where do I go for after that Draco Fish? Now we're gonna get after this one us. It's super effective. We'll probably bring him down to his sash. And he does withdraw the Draco Fish too. That is wonderful. He's gonna go Celesteela. Oh dude, I'm fine with all this. And he's gonna get out of slower mods, which is totally fine. Meteor Beam's popping. We're gonna get that great little special uh, attack boost here. And then I can Dynamax next turn. Then I can just get a lovely little Dynamax rolling here. Special attack raising. 
Power Herb is popping. Let's get after it. Meteor Beam coming out here. Thank God it doesn't miss. That is the worst. I think that's the worst feeling when your Meteor Beam misses. I'm going to bring this thing down to the Sash. Saw that coming. And then my Expanded Force should come out here and clean it up easily. Which is just dandy. Expanded Force. Double hitting. Beautiful. Good thing we went after the Tornado. She swapped. Uh, Celestial is going to be able to eat that up. But still, we pick up the KO. And we have Trick Room over. And now plus one special attack. So I can die next. I can die next here. He's going to have leftovers. And he's going to get one from there. He's probably going to take out my Indeedee here. Which is kind of scary. So I should kind of get after that. Let's see who he goes into. He goes back into the Draco Fish. That's totally fine. I could follow me this. Just to keep my boy alive. But I have to Dynamax him. Or I can Helping Hand this. I could Helping Hand and go straight into a, uh, a Phantasm. Lower defense and roll from there. Or I can just take out Draco Fish easily. And just get rid of the Draco Fish. Even though Celesteel is going to be that big threat. But they have Torkoal in the back end to kind of roll out after uh, Indeedee goes down. But I don't think we're going to need to follow me. Or I don't think we're going to need the uh, Helping Hand. So I'm just going to follow me to protect my boy. The Celestial can uh, take that shot. And then I think I'm just going to Max Mindstorm. Or do I get the Defense Drop? Defense Drop's not going to really do anything. We have Special Attackers in the back. So I'd rather just do the bigger damage onto the Draco Fish slot. And roll from there. That is going to be the play. That is going to be the play. As Indeedee goes down here, Celestial obviously gets that boost. But then we are slowest on the field. I could pop an Eruption here and do massive damage in a trap. Unless he swaps into... Unless he swaps into... What's it called? That can be scary. He swaps into Kyogre. He has Kyogre on the team, which he might not. He might not be rocking Kyogre. I mean, he could be. He has Tornadus on the team. So let's just see who he's, who he's going out with. He might protect Celestial, which I'm hoping kind of. He does not. Mindstorm should be able to pick up the KO here. We are plus one special attack. We have a special... Uh, we have the stab damage there, and we have the turning. So this thing gets dumped on. Get him out of here. This thing's going to... Oh, he's going to start seeding up. Okay. So he is going to start seeding up. Uh, what's going to be the player? here? He brings out Kyogre. I might just swap. And try to take weather control here. But he's going to seed up and he's just going to keep doing work on me. That's fine. You can take out Ndidi like that. He's going to take out Ndidi next turn to a leech seed. And this thing's just going to start uh, beefing up here. He's going to start. I, he can iron defense. I don't really care. kind of curious. It is going to be Kyogre here. Uh, do I follow me this shot? He's going to Dynamax here. And this is going to come out here. Uh, I should be able to eat up whatever he really has to offer. So I am going to go Helping Hand here. And do I Mindstorm again? Yeah, Mindstorm's going to do the most damage here. Let's get a Mindstorm rolling. I don't want to change the weather just yet. Because I'd rather have Indeedy just drop out here. Instead of wasting a turn by swapping him out. So I'd rather get off a Helping Hand here. Get a little bit of a Multiplier rolling here. And oh, he's not Dynamax. I guess he's going for like a Water Spat or something. That's going to KO this thing. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge that he didn't Dynamax there. And we take those all day. Oh, he's double seeding. He's double seeding. That, 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 that would have been good, but you have nobody left. That's all you have is Celestial. Unless he's going for the Dynamax now and just trying to clutch up here. I hope that takes out Indeedee. It does. Okay, that's fine. Indeedee did his job already. I have one turn left in Dynamax. And I am going to bring out my Torkoal. Just change up this weather. Even though weather this weather doesn't help him, I'd rather have the Heat help me. And Torkoal should be slowest on the field now. A beautiful Drought's coming out here. I can just pop an Eruption. Eruption's going to be able to do massive damage on this thing. And with the help of uh, Necrozma dropping a big uh, a big Max Phantasm, this should be enough to pick up a KO. Even if he does Dynamax, I think. He's just going to protect. Okay, that's fine. We can get off a little damage here. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room after this. We're thriving. We're thriving. We'd love to see it. So he protects at a good time, and then he's going to Dynamax and try to pick up the 4v1, but I just don't see that happening. I see him going down to this Eruption over here and picking up the clean sweep for battle number one. Get that wonderful defense drop, but yo, Necrozma's? Both of them, the Sogalia form and the Lunile form, I've been buzzing with them. They've both been Trick Room teams, which I really like. I've been I've been liking playing Trick Room teams. They're fairly simple. They're not too, too hard. Once you get the Trick Room on, you kind of have speed advantage, and your Pokemon can do a lot of damage. But I've been liking them. So far, we are going to be 4-0. If we win this, hopefully we win this. We'll be 4-0 with Necrozma teams. But I gotta decide at the end of this video which Necrozma team I like better or which Necrozma I like more. The Lunala form, the Dawn Wings, or the uh, Dusk Main form with the Sylvaleo. I'm gonna pop an eruption. I can just see this guy quit. He does not. He goes for an air slash. I can't believe he didn't Dynamax. All game. I don't know why he's not Dynamax. I guess he might be looking for a flinch. 
Like, these are Master Ball tier battles. I just don't understand why these guys aren't Dynamaxing. <laughs> We're going to come out here with the Moon Guys Beam. And this Necrozma is slower than Torko. That's pretty cool to know. But that's going to be big damage. Eruption is going to be able to pick up the KO. And we get ourselves... Oh, it wasn't even... Why was I going to say clean sweep? And he went down, man. It wasn't 4v1. It was 3v1. But still, we dominate that battle. Play that one perfectly. And uh, got started on strong note. This guy right here... He knows how to play Pokemon. He's using Flapple? That is pretty dope. I absolutely love that Pokemon. And I haven't seen him on the rank ladder in forever. Since, like, probably Season 1, considering people were trying out a bunch of new Pokemon. But Flapple and Appleton are one of my favorite Pokemons from Sword and Shield. So, cannot wait to go up against him. Hopefully, he does bring it. That'd be pretty cool. He also has his Zamazenta, the Dust Cops for Trick Room, the Incineroar, Thunderous, and the Lapras. Okay, he could G-Max that Lapras, which is pretty scary, but I gotta keep rolling Trick Room here. Like, this team just thrives around Trick Room, and we're gonna get after it. So, I'm gonna go Necrozma and the NDD once again. That's totally fine, but maybe we can buzz from there. Uh, I think I bring Glacier here for that Trick Room, and we can do work up against that Flapple, and that uh, Thunderous as well. And we really don't need Weather. We really don't need Weather here, so I think we just go Urshifu. I'm digging it. Totally digging it. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. So basically, same team, just swapping out Sun Boys for the uh, Urshfu and the Glacier. But it's crazy. Like, Glacier was so broken before the Restricted Mons come out. Now you can use him with one Restricted Mon, which I think is actually broken even more. But it's still fine. But Calyrex overpowers him. Calyrex is legit Glacier on steroids. It's just adding an extra, like, stat boost and an extra ability, which is unreal. Which is unreal. That's why I think those two are the strongest Pokemon in the game right now. Them and Kyogre and Groudon, I think, are up there as well, considering that you can control weather easily with them and do massive damage for the team and support them all around. But Duskops and Lapras is going to get the lead. We're going to go into Charisma here and in DD. Um, okay, in this case, I might... Oh, is he going to Dynamax? Hmm. What do I do here? I'm not going to set the Trick Room. I think he sets the Trick Room and we don't waste a turn with this. I think we just drop an Expanding Force. We could Moon Guys Beam. But I'm going to Meteor Beam uh, first over onto you. And then I'm just going to Expanding Force. Or do I just follow me in case this Lapras goes for something big? I said we just go for the follow me. As much as I want Expanding Force, if he Trick Rooms, uh, my team should be thriving here. So yeah, okay. Good thing I, I changed up into the follow me. Because I was just going to drop the Expanding Force, but then the Christmas would take a heavy hit. So he's going to set up the Trick Room, I believe. We're going to be able to get off a Meteor Beam, do some big damage onto the uh, Lapras, and then I believe outspeed it next turn. Which could be pretty good, and then I can just follow me again and try to keep my Necrozma alive. But that is the best part about having Necrozma or Meteor Beam on Necrozma with the power herb. You get a plus one special attack boost, which is enormous. It really is big. Here we go. Meteor Beam and baby. Charge that up. Charge it up. In the Sandstorm, that should be able to hit in one turn. Without the special attack boost. That'd be a little broken. But I kind of see it as like a solar beam, you know? That's big damage. We're not stab. We're not stab. We're going to proc policy here. He's going to probably take out Ndidi. Hopefully he sets off that trick room. Actually, no. That thing's slower. That Lapras is slower, so that's kind of scary. But he's going to be able to drop this resonance. Ndidi, can you eat this? You do not. Okay. Uh, trick room can come out here. Um, hmm. What do I roll in here? Glacier? Uh, roll the glass. Glass isn't a bad choice here. Here goes Trick Room. Okay, so good call by me to not go into a Trick Room here. Just have him set it. Okay, so he's slower. Uh, let me check the speed real quick on the squad. I do have Sucker Punch. The 31. What is Necrozma? Necrozma's 73. Okay, I thought it was a little bit slower. So Glacier can come out here. And uh, I could drop a Close Combat and then hit a Hard Swap. What do I want to do here? I think we just Dynamax the, uh, I think we Dynamax onto the, the what's it called? The Necrozma slot, since we are plus one, I could go for a Phantasm. Hmm. Do we think Close Combat's going to be able to take you out? I should we hit you, see if that will take you out. I might protect. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to protect Glass here. See what he's going to roll out with. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. If we get rid of this Lapras, we got this one in the bag. But he does have a War Veil up, which is really scary. War Veil is scary. And say we can't take him out here with this Max Phantasm, this Lapras, my Glacier should be slower than this Lapras and be able to pick up the KO on next turn. 
So I figured I'd just protect it here so it doesn't uh, get KO'd here. And we should be able to roll out from there. And Necrozma getting it Dynamax again. Yo, I'm loving this Pokemon. I really am. This year's gonna protect. Block. Ice Horse puts up shield. Here goes the Nightshade. That's totally fine. I'm gonna be able to eat that up. Do not double up into me. Please don't say you're doubling up into me. Are you doubling up into me? You're after glass. He is. Yo, oh, what a call, man. What a call. Doubles up into me. I wonder if you read my protector where he's just trying to get out from my Necrozma. A little biscuit. And I can't believe both of them are slower. Does he have Trick Room on? I'm so confused right now. He has. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm all thrown off. I'm all thrown off. I'm totally fine. Okay, so defense drop. All that's going on. Um. I'm going to Phantasm over onto the desktop slot. And I should just be able to take out... Do I go for an Iso Crash? Uh, high Horsepower should be able to take you out easily. Onto the Lapras slot. Big GG on Lapras. She's probably going to guard, to be honest with you. He does guard. Which I'm totally fine with. A Phantasm coming across over onto this... Uh, this desktop. Should be able to do massive damage. We are plus one. I think this might be able to pick up KO. I don't know. This thing's really bulky. It doesn't. Are you kidding me? He's going to be able to... Uh, go into a Pain Split next turn. This guy's defense is dropping. I am going to, uh, I think we should be able to pick up the double KO this turn. We should rock out with Trick Room again. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, man. I see what you're doing. Uh, what should I, how should I roll this one? I could drop a rock ball. I might set our terrain. Yeah, so when my new Christmas gets out here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the Lapras here. Uh, we already have that terrain up, actually. We already have that terrain up. But I am actually going to... Hmm. could change up the weather. What other Pokemon does he have? There's no other water Pokemon, so I'm really not worried about that. Unless he's rocking Hurricane, but... Hmm. Let's we'll just go for Phantasm. Actually, I'd rather get the defense drop all around. So we're just going to go for the Phantasm. And then let's drop a high horsepower over onto the desktop slot. Let's get after it. There goes Phantasm. We're going to be able to take out that Lapras. What's called is not slowest anymore. We still have Urshfu in the back, so that's going to actually help us out a little bit. But he does change back to Trick Room, which helps him out. I think it's going to help him out and change the tides here. It's going to be close. Glacier is going to come in here. High horsepower can go. I can protect next turn and set up a Trick Room of my own if I really want to. But Necrozma turns are over. He still has the, uh, the War Bell. It's gonna be a good battle. Chilling Day is boosted though. They both my Pokemon are boosted. Plus one on their attack field. Not looking too shabby, but looking like this guy can actually do some work here. He's gonna drop a Flapple. We do have Ice absolutely dump on that thing, so I'm not too worried about him. <laughs> and Incineroar. Okay, so we're gonna go back down to uh, even on my attack board. Do I set up a Trick Room? That's the real question. Do I set up the Trick Room? I don't think I wasted turn doing that. But I think they might just take me out from there. I think I just dropped the uh, Icicle Crash. I'm gonna fake one of us out. But I said I just dropped this expanding. Mm, probably not anymore. Moon Guys Beam can come, come out here onto the Flapple, but yeah, let's just go expanding force. No, I don't want to. Could charge that up. <laughs> It'd be pretty nice. Um, let's just go expanding force. You know, what? I might just go Moon Guys Beam. Now we're just gonna go expanding force here. In case he fakes out my Glacier. We're just going to be able to drop this uh, Icicle Crash over on the Flapple and see what we can do from there. So we're just going to fake out. Yo, dude, we got Terrain, baby. We got Terrain. And he goes for double hitting first turn moves. This dude just went for double hitting first turn moves in a Terrain. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yo, that's GG. He, that's GG. He just lost it for himself. He's probably so angry. I wish I wish he would have just turned off his console after that. <laughs> But that's GG. High horsepower should be able to come out here. Nice little Moon Guys Beam. And he doesn't have a uh, War Belt anymore. I could have charged up a Meteor Beam. I could have been Play of the Year. <laughs> but, dude, this dude really was like, yeah, yo, I'm done here. I'm just going to do this. Good job, close combat. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to charge up a, a, a Meteor Beam here. Battle was canceled. Yo, let's go. Sitting at 2-0 right now, we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're trying to get that perfect record for you guys. We're going up against a Yavelta team alongside with Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Metagross, Mimikyu, and Grimstone. So, heavy meta team. I feel like this is pretty similar to the team I showed off when I did Yavelta back when Series 8 just started, but we're going to get rolling from here. Uh, Yavelta could be either Weakness Policy or Life Orb. 
or that could be Metagross too. So <laughs> this could go either way. I got a roll trick him here. He has taunt Pokemon, but Prankster will not work on this uh, terrain with that Grimmsnarl. And I feel like Grimmsnarl is the only one who can uh, who can taunt or who's rolling taunt on this team. So I'm going to lead that same lead there. Um, do I re lead the Sun Boys or bring the Sun Boys in here? I feel like that's how this team goes. You, you bring the Indeedee and Necrozma, typically, and then you pick between the two, either Urshifu Glacier or Venusaur and Torkoal. So I think better option here, I really would love having the Urshifu here, but I think the Torkoal and Venusaur are just going to come up a little bit better. But I'm going to go with them, boys. Because Venusaur is also a great Dynamax Pokemon, so in case something happens to Necrozma, we can roll out with the Venusaur with the Life Orb and get rolling from there. And we, and we get the Pokemon to sleep, like no tomorrow. Can just roll out from there. But I think he's going to lead the Grimmsnarl. I really do. I think he's going to lead maybe the Grimmsnarl alongside with uh, either Yubelto or Metagross. Let's see who he goes into. Let's see. Who are you going to go into? Or maybe the Mimikyu. He's going to go into Yubelto and Mimikyu. Okay. Yubelto and Mimikyu. And uh, can just set a Trick Room, which is kind of scary. You can just set an easy Trick Room. I'm going to set this Psychic Surge. Is he going to read my trick room? That's, that's my question. Is he going to read my trick room? I could just drop a double expanding force, but I have no effect on him. I could just take you out and see if he sets a trick room. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for the follow me and just see what he does. Because I don't want to set a trick room and have him hard read me for another trick room. That's possible. That is totally possible. And I feel like we can just follow me here and do some big damage, get my special attack boost, and roll from there. Meteor Beam is nasty. It's nasty. He's going to die next to you about that as well. Okay. All right. I, I see what you're doing. I see you. We might not get off a trick from here. Let's see what he does. Let's see his play. Make a play, my dude. Because I can't get out Venusaur later. So I might not need Dynamax, uh, Necrozma. We're gonna depend on- it depends on the situation here. Follow me to come out here. And what is- what is Mimikyu gonna go after? I think Mimikyu is rolling a Trick Room. I think he is rolling a Trick Room, which is pretty big for us. If he is, I should be able to KO it next turn. He's gonna drop this. Cold Berry helps us eat up perfectly. That's wonderful. I think Necrozma or Mimikyu might be going for that Trick Room, because he's going last right now. And I think he would outspeed a Yovelta. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Meteor Beam's gonna come out here. Yeah, he should be able to outspeed me, so. I think he's rocking a Trick Room, because Trick Room always goes last. That would be good. That would be very, very well. Because then I could just drop Double Expanding Force and pick a KO onto him. However, it's Brock in here. Meteor Beam coming out. That was a big damage. Big, big damage. We get a crit, too. Ooh, baby. Sync Policy? It is not. And he is setting the Trick Room. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mimikyu. Okay. Uh, we have to hit up on this thing. And I have to hit up on him again. I have to take out Mimikyu. Actually, Necrozma is slower. Oh, that's tough news, man. That's tough news. I really would love to take this thing out. What would be better to go after? Um. Oh, this move can be used regardless of abilities. Can be used on the target regardless of its ability. So this should just be able to pick up the KO here. So I am going to go for a follow me here. And just absolutely dump on this Mimikyu. Oh my lord, we're going to be able to hit through his disguise. Thank god I read that. Thank god I read that. He, he's thinking he, he can just set up another trick room here. And cancel that out. And I'm saying nah, yo, we dropping a Moon Geist Beam onto you. Yo, <laughs> this better, I think, I think it hits through his disguise, right? This will pick up the KO. There's no way he's sashed. No Mimikyu's ever sash. Yes, sir! Yo, let's go! Let's go. Yo, I like this team better. I like this team better now. He's gonna be able to take out my, uh, my Ndidi. He set up the Trick Room. Yo, we've been playing so well. We read him setting up that Trick Room. I call that from the beginning. We get some big damage off. We take out his Mimikyu. Wasting his Dynamax turns out here. And now, I have Trick Room control here. I am gonna bring out Torkoal. I can just erupt. And he is slowish right now. Dropped on everybody. Torkel coming out here, baby. Yes, sir. And he's gonna throw out who? He'll throw out Incineroar. So he he, he can't fake out. He's rolling here. And his intimidate's gonna do nothing. 
absolutely nothing. And I think the what's called will be able to take him out in eruption. I am going to double up in the Yelvelta just in case. But we're gonna drop an eruption. Look at this being oh all these are not very effective. That's what stinks, man. So I double up into him just in case. Now I'm gonna start charging a medium. How about that? Oh, I can how about I dynamax? How about I do that? How about I just do that? Yeah, that, that, that's pretty nice. I still have my Dynamax. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. I was like, oh, I could start charging a Meteor Beam. How about Dynamax? Or he just cancels. Let's go. 3-0, perfect record for today's video. Dominated all three battles. What else could you guys ask for? We are now sitting at 6-0 on the channel with Necrozma teams. We went 3-0 in our last video and 3-0 today. So we absolutely been dominating. All three battles say were phenomenal. I feel like we... All of them were not even close for us. We just rolled out. We played them all perfectly. Set up the trick room. Except for in that last one. We played that one really well by making the hard read on him setting up the trick room. Dominating him and making him cancel out in two turns. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.